Hey Columbus, it's taking us a long time to get to a thousand subscribers. What do you think's going on? I told you this one will work. What a stupid idea. Eight things not to say to your boss at work. I'm Chris, this is the Office Survival Guide where I do videos not just to help you survive the office week, but give you the skills you need to crush it. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you things you should never say to your boss even if your boss is your best friend. And why is that? Well, because your boss, if you haven't noticed, they have a big hat on top of their head that says, I can fire you and I control your salary. And so you really kind of want to be putting your best foot forward with your boss, even if they are your best friend, because things you say at work can and will be used against you in a court of law. I mean, the court of performance evaluations. And so, by the way, I won't be telling you to be disingenuous or to lie, but I'll be talking about how to frame things in potentially a more positive light that perhaps doesn't insult your boss, put your boss down, or put yourself above your boss. First thing never to say to your boss is to things that blame your boss for things that went wrong. This comes in the form of, it's not my fault. You told me to do it. I told you so. You know, the reason why we're behind is probably because of management. You know, and some of these things are a little more insulting than others. This last one, we're behind because of management. You might be saying that in your mind to refer to the rest of management, but when you say that your boss is gonna take it, that they're your boss, therefore they're management, therefore you are insulting them at this point. Second thing never say to your boss at work is excuses, particularly excuses for things that are your fault. Nobody likes excuses, and excuses often come in the form of things like, well, you know, nobody told me how to do it, or there's nobody was around here to help me, that, that's why it's late, that's why I was behind. These sorts of excuses, your boss is gonna be thinking, well, if there was nobody around to help you, then you, you should have asked for help. Just because they weren't standing beside you doesn't mean nobody's here to help you. And so if there actually was something that was your fault, just own up to it and say, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, that was a really bad idea, it didn't work out, I thought it would, but you know, I'm gonna take a different, different approach next time and uh, this will never happen again. Your boss will appreciate that much more rather than the long list of excuses. Number three, don't say things to your boss that seem selfish or arrogant. So if your boss asks you to do something, don't say things like, that's not my job, that's not my client, that's really below my pay grade. You know, the secretary should be doing that. I get paid way too much money to do this. And you know what, if you have some good reason to say like, oh, well, Sally or Bob, they do this a lot faster than I would, it'll take me like two hours, they can do it in like 10 minutes, you can phrase it like that to your boss. But if your boss says, well, yeah, you know, but they're really busy, I'd still like you to do it, then what you say is, hey, boss, absolutely, no problem. The final thing you should never say to your boss that's also arrogant and uh, kinda really, actually it's really arrogant, is if you say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <sighs> Cause you know, it makes it sound like you know a lot more. And uh, when your boss hears that, they'll probably hope that you find, uh, find a tall bridge to just jump off of and whoop, get rid of yourself. Number four, don't say things that make it seem like you're giving up too quickly. Things like, I can't do this. This is impossible. It's never gonna happen. I can't do this. We can't do this. This is ridiculous. If your boss thinks it can be done, well, give them some better reasons as to it's impossible, right? You might say, well, I don't think we can get this done. I think it's maybe not gonna take just one week. It's gonna take two weeks. But this is another one where if your boss assigned it to you, they think you can get it done. So give it a try. Fifth thing never to say to your boss is anything that seems like gossip. And not just about your boss, but gossip around the office. These comes in the form of, Hey boss, did you see what Bob was wearing? Look how tight those pants are. And that shirt, it totally doesn't match the pants. Oh my God, and Tina, did you see what she posted on Instagram last night? That party was crazy. And I think Joey and Tina, like, I think they're hooking up. You know, because if you're sharing things like this at work, your boss might be thinking you're gossiping about them too. And this is especially important if you are friends with your boss and you go back a long ways, there might be some things in your boss's personal life that they don't want shared with everybody else. So just kind of keep the co-worker gossip on the down low. And when I mean down low, I mean zero. And actually, don't gossip in front of your boss. Don't gossip in front of anybody at the workplace. That's probably a good plan. This ties us into number six, which is don't backstab your other co-workers. This can kind of tie into gossip, but this comes in the form of like, 
Oh yeah, don't give anything to Bob. Bob is just way too slow. Or Tina, she's like never here. I never see her. You know, that's when your boss asks, hey, have you seen Tina? And you say, I never see Tina. I don't know where she, I don't even, I don't even think she does any work, right? Do you know? Do you know if Tina does work? So now if there are legitimate performance concerns, you can share those with your boss, but you don't want them to come up as just kind of like side conversations to things, because then your boss may think you're doing the same thing to your boss, to your boss's boss. That when that person says like, hey, have you seen, uh, have you seen, have you seen your boss Joe? Have you seen him around? Joe, I never see Joe. I don't even think Joe comes to work. You don't want your boss to think that you think that about them or say that about them. Seven thing you shouldn't say to your boss is things that disrespect your boss. This comes in the form of, what do you know about this anyway? Do you even, do you even know anything about molecular physics? I mean, I, I don't think you even have a background. Who are you to question my technical authority? Are you even technical? You know what? All managers, all managers are idiots. All managers are stupid, right? Uh, you don't want to imply to your boss that you think less of them. And this also comes in the form of when you say, hey, maybe, maybe I should just report to your boss. Maybe, maybe I should go talk to your boss about this. Now, if you think together you should go talk to whomever the boss's boss is, you can say that and say, well, you know, if we're having a challenge, maybe we could go together to talk about it. But that should be something where, where we work together, not something where you say, hey, I'm going to go around you because you don't really know what you're talking about. If only I could talk to somebody who has some reason in their brain, that'd be helpful. And the other one you don't want to say is you don't want to say, well, you know, your boss said I could do this or your boss directed me to do this. Because really, if your boss tells you to do something, you should do what they tell you to do. Now, the eighth thing you should never say to your boss is sharing too much information. Now, this is kind of the reverse of gossip, right? This is about yourself, but there's some things that maybe you should keep private. Things like, oh, man, I got so wasted last night. I totally could not get into work. I, I'm amazed I even got here by lunchtime. Like, and now that it's four o'clock, I, I don't feel like I've actually got anything done today. Right? These might be things you just might want to keep to yourself because, and while eh, it might just seem like, ah, you're just chit-chatting, it's not chit-chat to your boss because what you say can and will be used against you in a court of performance evaluations. There are other stupid things, by the way, to stay at work, not just things to your boss. And if you haven't seen it, you might want to check out my video right here about, yes, there are stupid things to say at work, like in meetings, like at the water cooler. So when you're done with this video, which I think is right now, go check this one out. I won't say goodbye because I'll see you right here.